So you're at week 10, you've made 10 rounds. Uh, this week, I'm also gonna focus on some relaxation. So I mentioned that pranayama, or the, the actual conscious use of breath being super important for your yoga practice and it being a great accompaniment to your physical asana on the mat. Today, I'm just gonna invite you to take some relaxation time. And this is uh, something that perhaps you could add on to your physical practice. So from week 10 to week 12, um, after this week, we're gonna be performing some live classes together, which I'm gonna run. So you'll have an array of 10 workouts to choose from, from week 12 onwards, which will be yours. And that means that perhaps you can do one live workout, followed by this savasana relaxation at the end of each practice. So there's a real benefit to savasana, and its literal translation means corpse pose, um, meaning that we can be reborn after certain time to lay down. The benefits of savasana are that we really stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. And this is super important when we have very, very busy lives. We spend most of our time in the sympathetic area of the nervous system, which is the go, go, go section. Um, and also working out doing high intensity interval training, weight training, also still simulates the sympathetic nervous system. So if you've had a really super stressful day, or you have a very, very high pressure job, or you have high pressure from home, the last thing you need to do when you work out is also still continue to stimulate this, this sympathetic area of the central nervous system. What you actually need is the parasympathetic. And that's connected to sleep, reducing stress and also lowering your stress hormones in your body, cortisol. So I invite you just to lay yourself down comfortably. You could even grab a jumper, a blanket, a pillow, and then just find yourself equally on both sides of your body. So I invite you to lay your body wide and open. Your legs are gonna be wider than your hips. You're gonna allow your feet to drop open to the side to relax your thigh muscles and open your pelvis so you can breathe. Lay your arms away from the midline of your body, just gently tuck your elbows inwards, your palms are facing up and your fingers are naturally soft and curling. Working up through your shoulder blades, open them broadly on the mat, feel equal from right to left side. And actively drop your shoulders just away from your ears. Check in with your head carriage, Lift the head, gently tuck the chin down a couple of inches into the chest so you actually lengthen the back of the neck on the floor. Close your eyes, close your mouth. Gently breathe in and out through the nose, slowly, fully. The intention of Savasana to relax and to find comfort in your stillness. Bring your attention to your jaw, your teeth, your tongue. We carry lots of tension with clenching around the teeth and the jaw during the day. So choose to let go. Allow your tongue just to drop to the back of your throat. Notice how it relaxes your face. Take deep, slow, full breaths in through the nose. And out through the nose. And as you're laying, notice the belly, chest rise. And like a wave, it falls gently. No intention of slowing the breath down too much, but just finding your natural rhythm. Continue to breathe. And if you're someone that has quite a busy mind, just bring your attention to the music.
And our yoga practice is a, is a form of kindness to our body. Generally, the kinder we are to ourselves allows us to spread that kindness to others. Sometimes you need energy from the yoga practice. Sometimes you just need to let go. So just notice what you need today, what your body requires. And if you feel in a good place, maybe somebody that is close to you, dear, needs your energy for you. You can even dedicate your practice to them. Deepening breath as you continue to lay. Enjoy the coolness of the air and the quietness of the room. There's no rush, beginning to awaken slowly. Gently maybe opening and closing the hands, rotating at the wrists, even moving the ankles and the feet. Like a big body yawn, you may stretch your arms long above your head. Bring the knees towards the chest, release your lower back. Take a hug. And perhaps roll yourself to the right hand side so you're light on your heart. Use your hands just to press yourself to sit and come and join me when you're ready. And the eye gaze lowered, but lifting up through the crown of the head, growing tall. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. One more time, breathing in. Lifting the arms above the head. Bring your thumbs to your heart center. Thank your body always for its practice with some gratitude. Well done on week 10.